Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Fiddlin' Johnny and this is my fiddle channel and magic product review. And before I do any magic product review, I do a quick fiddle tune. So today I'm gonna do the Contessa Waltz, or at least a piece of the Contessa Waltz. All right, here we go. Contessa Waltz, but I know you are here really for the magic product review. Uh, and I'm going to review today Manoj Kashal's Decipher Envelopes. Uh, I purchased these because, well, you know, quite honestly, I thought I could use them uh, and they seem like something that would be, could be a really good product. I walked away with maybe a different perspective. Some may like it, some may not. Anyway, stick around and I'll get right into the details. All right, let's get into this review. Now, I hate to, I shouldn't say I hate to do negative reviews. You know, I prefer to highlight products that you are going to like and bring to your attention. I don't like to do negative reviews because, you know, people have worked hard on them. They're trying to make a living with some of their uh, products that they're putting out there. And um, so, you know, I don't want to have to take that from somebody. But every now and then something comes through and I would be remiss if I didn't share what my experience is. So let's talk about the Decipher Envelopes by Manoj Kashal. Some people will probably find these really great. They're gonna love them. That was not my experience. It was, in fact, the complete opposite. So let's talk a little bit about what is uh, the Decipher Envelopes. They are a utility device. It will allow you to get a peek of something that somebody has written down, whether it's a number, it's a simple drawing, uh, a word. So word, number, drawing. Um, and they are going to write it down on maybe a business card or on a billet. They will go ahead and insert it into the envelope and then you'll be able to get a peek of it. That's at least how it is described. It's also described as this one has solved a problem that exists when you try to get peaks from envelopes. And that previous versions of envelopes where you get a peak, it requires that you're staring at the envelope for a uh, longer amount of time in order to get the peak, which draws suspicion. Minaj on this one really says that uh, he sort of worked to solve that issue and that you can get your peak pretty quickly uh, without drawing attention to it. Essentially, you have your spectator put the uh, card into the en into the envelope and from there you're getting ready to go ahead and close it and as you're closing it you're able to get the peak and show the envelope from both sides not a problem uh my experience was not at all easy to get the peak um and there needed to be a set of circumstances to maximize the chances that i would get the peak so that's my experience let's get into some of the details here uh, let's just first of all start off with what do you get? So you're going to you can order your envelopes in three different colors So you can order them red black or manila envelope. I picked red because I like the red envelopes I uh, use red envelopes for other packet tricks that I carry with me. So I like the red That's why I picked the red. I think it sort of pops more when you're performing uh, You're also going to get a tutorial. It's on the Murphy's magic site uh, where you're able to uh, do that and the tutorial is 22 minutes and 54 seconds in length. So essentially it's a 23 minute tutorial. Not super long, but it's a utility device. Once you understand how the utility device works, you can go from there. Let's talk about the tutorial itself and the instructions. Uh, this is where I quibble uh, with stuff like I'm probably being nitpicky here. Like it's professionally shot. Um, it looks like it's done uh, in a home living room, on a couch, um, coffee table, but it's all fine. Uh, it's high enough quality where you can see everything. It's mic'd well enough. 
uh, and you will get the fundamentals of what you need for this. Um, I, kind of my biggest gripe in it, like some of it felt like it was a little bit redundant in the tutorial and that he repeated himself multiple times. And sometimes that's a great thing. And this time it's like, it didn't add anything. And I know that's sort of like probably somebody's style. So, you know, I know I'm guilty of rambling at times. So I can see where people can quibble about that. Uh, but that was my experience with it. More importantly, let's talk about this as a utility device by itself. And, and let's first start with the quality of these envelopes. The quality of the envelope is really good. <clears throat> it's not made from Tyvek. It's made from a high quality paper that's got a nice thickness to it. It looks totally normal. It should not be suspected uh, as being a gimmicked envelope. Uh, so it's nice in that respect. Now you're not going to really hand out them the envelope for them to really explore the envelope. Uh, that wouldn't be normal, nor would I do it. But uh, the envelope itself is a good quality. And it's designed in a way that I understand what Minaj is trying to do here with this envelope. So the envelope from the physicality of it is, is really good. Uh, but let's talk about what it's designed for. It's designed to get a peek. And so let's do an example here. So I introduce my envelope, all right? I'm gonna have them write something on uh, a billet or a business card. With my head turned, I'm going to have them go ahead and put it in back into the envelope, all right? They put it into the envelope. I now would bring my head back. I would bring it up. And as I'm going to go ahead and to close the envelope, I'm able to get my peak. Like right now, I got the peak and I can just go ahead and show the envelope freely. And now I can do whatever I want to probably tuck it in my pocket and be done with it. Um, here's what I discovered. Uh, the very first time I went out to perform it, I foolishly did not have a Sharpie with me and used a ballpoint pen. A ballpoint pen is just not going to work because it is not big enough you need to use a Sharpie. And probably the thicker the Sharpie, maybe even a little bit better. Let's see if I have my Sharpie here. Uh, I found that your standard regular Sharpie is pretty good, but it wouldn't hurt even if you used a thicker um, tip uh, Sharpie to make it better. So I performed it the very first time with a ballpoint pen with under uh, lighting circumstances that I would say were perfect. It was the middle of the day, well lit, uh, lots of, um, uh, natural light, I could not for the life of me get the peak. Um, so, quick lesson, use a Sharpie. I then have since performed it under what I would consider ideal lighting situation. Seems like, oh, this is great. I'm in a well-lit room. I'll be able to get the peak quite easily and still was not that easy to get the peak. I really found that I need to be in a sweet spot from a lighting perspective when I was performing in order to get the peak. And then there's additional things. When folks put in whatever it is, especially let's talk about words or numbers, there's an orientation issue. Um, and that in your ideal world, I would say, put it in so that it's facing with the uh, end of the word goes in first. But I'm not gonna give that instruction because that is too suspicious. So you have to figure out how do you uh, arrange the set of conditions for them to put it back in there in that sort of circumstance to maximize the chances of the readability when I go to get the peak that I can see it. Um, and they have to spell well, which is a problem with any peak device. If somebody uh, has sloppy handwriting, it's a little more challenging to decipher, to use the decipher envelope, what they have written. Um, I haven't found, most of the time when I've had people write stuff down, uh, that they write clearly enough that it hasn't been an issue. But you should know that about any Peak device if you're brand new to them, especially with this style of envelope, is that you want to give the instructions to make sure that they write as neatly as possible. Um, so I think those are some of the takeaways. You want the ideal lighting circumstances. You want to use a thick Sharpie on it. And you should understand that when they're putting back it into here, that if you have challenges reading words backwards, that could be a problem for you. So um, just know those sorts of things going into it. I found for me that it was too much of uh, challenging to uh, easily get the peak without 
not drawing suspicion of them, like staring at the darn envelope for too long and raising suspicions on that I'm obviously I'm trying to get a peek from it. You also have slight angle issues, like you want to make sure that you have people in front of you. Uh, the second you have people to the side of you, uh, that can might be a problem for you uh, as well. Although I think that's limited. I, I really think probably if you're doing it like on a stage or parlor, it's going to be better where you can control the lighting uh, and the set of circumstances so that you can more easily get the peak. All right, that's it. For me, not going to use it. Too challenging to get the peak. Others, if you can control your set of circumstances, it'll be just fine. In the United States, this costs $25. I think that's what it costs. Yeah, it costs $25 in the United States. So I think you get three envelopes for that. And I think you have to sort of determine if that's the right price for you or not. I would be curious if any of you have purchased the Decipher envelopes and what your experience is with them, whether it's positive or negative. Let me know uh, down uh, in the comment section and so that can help other people if they're looking uh, for a peak envelope and what your perspective was on this peak envelope. There are probably other peak envelopes out there that folks really like. And if so, leave that down in the comments, which peak envelope you use and what you like about it or dislike about it. Um, that would be awesome just to help the community out as they're looking. Also, I think that's it, but hit that like button. Because if you haven't hit the like button, what are you waiting for? Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And then make sure, if you haven't yet subscribed, to go ahead and subscribe. There's nothing to wait for now. Just hit that and go ahead and subscribe. All right. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope that this was helpful for you if you're considering this item. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny. And remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.